Let's talk men over 50 and TRT. That's testosterone replacement therapy. I've been around the block as far as being in the gym goes. 37 years I've been going and I've met a lot of men, spoken to a lot of men about everything from training to hormone supplementation, that's steroids, that's uh, pro-hormones, that's uh, diet, everything that we've talked about over the years. And one of the most recent issues that's come up more and more, uh, I believe, has been with men using hormone replacement therapy, specifically testosterone replacement therapy, as a way of them uh, supplementing their own hormone levels. Now, on the surface, that sounds great uh, if, if there's an actual need for it. That's the whole thing. So, I'm not making any sort of a stand either for or against TRT based on any sort of a moral stand or any sort of a judgment stand with regards to uh, what's ooh, cheating or what's not cheating or anything like that. Uh, the first thing that I really would like to make a stand for or a discussion of is uh, your quality of life. What is your quality of life? If you are showing symptoms of low T, if in fact you're low on energy, terrible sleep, low libido or sex drive, uh, generally not as aggressive as you used to be uh, when you were younger, then yeah, of course, there's definitely something going on. And you can go to your doctor, have your doctor go ahead and test your testosterone levels and verify if in fact you fall in that area, generally it's between 300 to 1,000, he'll mark you off. Based on your age, based on your age, there's teenagers who end up in that you know, upper end of the range, but then there's also men in their 60s, 70s, and 80s that drop down to that 200 to 300 range, and well, actually from 45 on up, from the 200 to 300 range, and that's considered healthy as well. Uh, some physicians don't like it being that low, and certainly some men who have any sort of symptoms, they also don't like it being that low, so they do opt to go for uh, TRT. Now, myself, after having spoken to more and more men over the last 10 years specifically, there are more men over the age of 40, I said 40, even though this video is about men over 50, and testosterone replacement therapy, there are more and more men over 40 who are uh, uh, basically opting for that hormone replacement therapy. And the big question is, is do you need it? Is your quality of life suffering in any way, shape, or form? Any one of those ways that I just mentioned. Uh, you feel like you're generally in poor health or weaker than normally, low energy levels, terrible sleep, uh, low sex drive, general lack of aggressiveness. Those are just some general uh, uh, symptoms of low T, low testosterone. If those are the case, then you may in fact determine, hey, you may need to supplement with testosterone just to have a better quality of life, just to raise up your quality of life to an area or to a energy level or to a sex drive level or to just a place of general happiness, mood elevation. That's another issue. Uh, depression. A lot of men get depressed uh, from low T as well as, you know, situational depression as well happens because of it. So I'm bringing that up in particular because if those symptoms truly do exist and you're being honest with yourself, then yeah, you may in fact need hormone replacement therapy. On the other hand, there's a bunch of men that I've met in particular in the fitness industry and in the gyms in general over the last 37 years. There's a bunch of them who, especially, let's just say they were former users of hormones, steroids, growth hormones, insulin, all of that, okay? And a lot of them long-term users. Now, if you fall into that category, Again, uh, I, I'm not judging you for having done all of that, but I am bringing up the point 
that if you find yourself after having used any sort of steroid or you know hormones to uh, to build muscle to be more impressive physically over the course of your 20s and your 30s and you find yourself to be around 40 years old and suddenly you decide to get off of those drugs well it is reasonable to expect that there's going to be an adjustment period how long would that adjustment period be well I have found that almost every one of the men who I've spoken to uh, personally who have gone down that road and discontinued their usage almost every single one of them has not given it enough time they've given it a, given it a very short amount of time they felt like crap so those hormones were definitely bottoming out and they found themselves feeling every one of the symptoms that I've already mentioned every one of them and in that case they find themselves in front of their physician and hello their physician is going to go ahead and test them out and yeah those testosterone levels are going to mention are going to test out at a very very low level so it's very easy to convince your physician I need to feel better it is about quality of life your physician is going to say whoa that testosterone is really low we can do something about that let's raise up that testosterone level so in those cases uh, I don't like that situation only because if you've only given it a year if you've only given yourself a short amount of time after being being a chronic user of the steroid of testosterone of hormones over the course of decades off and on off and on basically in your entire adult life have you ever had several years clean without the steroid without the testosterone without the hormones if you have God bless you then you do know what it's like to be operating on your own hormone levels but if not then there's a combination of things going on there it's going to be hormonally you're bottoming out and you don't like it and you're used to having that supernatural drive that comes from supplementing with testosterone or those other hormones and then secondarily your identity itself might be linked up to or hooked into the fact that you're used to being bigger and more muscular and more aggressive at all times and suddenly you're not because you're down to being a normal human male now if that's the case you're gonna have to wait it out you're gonna have to give your body a chance to run on its own stuff to kick up its own testosterone levels to balance itself out and that could take years so if that were the case I myself I'm for waiting it out and yeah there may be an inconvenient time time period of doing that but as you approach those four, late 40s those 50s now you're over 50 if you've been supplementing with testosterone TRT from your physician all through your mid to late 40s and into your 50s basically you're looking at staying on it for the rest of your life and if that's the case that's your decision as an adult however I don't know and I would make the case for you questioning have you given your body a fair chance at kicking up its own levels and have you given your body its own chance at feeling good or you psychologically getting used to your normal hormone levels which over time you get used to it and you tend to forget where you were when you were back on the steroid so that's a secondary case okay I have a just as a side note I had a good friend of mine for years uh, uh, lifelong best friend of mine uh, bodybuilder he did use the steroids all throughout his late teens his 20s his 30s and into his 40s his early 40s when he quit doing the steroids and the growth hormone he basically had stopped and over the course of the next five years approaching 50 symptomatically he was fine he was fine he had a high sex drive he had a beautiful girlfriend uh, energy wise he was fine aggressiveness in the gym and in life he was aggressive well this man finds himself in front of his physician going in for a physical and the physician 
at one point decides with him, hey, let's run a hormone panel. So my boy goes and has the hormone panel ran and the physician is sitting in front of him after the results come back and he looks at him and he says, how you feeling, son? How you feeling? And my boy goes, uh, I feel fine, doc. Why? And the doc says, well, I'm showing that you have a testosterone level of 13. Now, <laughs> between you and I, a 13 is less than a one-year-old girl, okay? So that hormone level, the doc looks at him and says, uh, at this level right here, you should be dragging your ass into my office. And how's, your, how's everything else going on top of that? Is, you have a sex drive and all that? And my guy says to him, yeah, I have a sex drive. I'm doing really well. And the doc says, look, man, can you get a boner? And my guy says, yeah, I can. I've been just fine. And the doc looks at him straight in the face and says, son, then you're just plain willing it to happen. Because physiologically, that shouldn't be happening at this low of a hormone level. Well, don't you know, my friend was laughing this off. And so did I. For years, we were laughing this one off because... He was just fine. He chose not to use any hormone replacement therapy, and he also chose to ignore the advice of his doc, who did want him to get on TRT. His quality of life was not affected. He found that it was psychological for him. So he chose not to go down that road, and he was just fine without it. He had, as I said, a beautiful girlfriend who turned him on, and that was not a question. And his energy levels were fine, as well as his aggressiveness. So he kept it the way it was. Health-wise, he checked out fine in all other ways. So that's a story about a friend of mine, just as a little side note. Uh, he chose not to go down that road. Uh, and then lastly, I have to bring up, there are a lot of men out there who are just like me and like my buddy I just discussed with you, uh, where as we are getting older, we show no signs of slowing down. Uh, aggressiveness wise, aggression wise, uh, I'm as aggressive now as I was in my 20s or 30s uh, and I'm 54 right now. Uh, my personality is just that, that yeah, I have uh, generally high aggression levels, uh, no problem turning it on in the gym, uh, sexually have no problem turning it on there, I have a beautiful wife, maybe that has a lot to do with it, but uh, who turns me on. Uh, but basically, yeah, that shows no sign of slowing down either, if we have to be really honest, okay? But uh, on top of it all, energy-wise, as long as I'm getting good nights of sleep, I'm fine. That's a fact, too. I don't rely on stimulants. I don't do any of that stuff. I don't need to drink coffee all day long. So there are men out there who show no sign of slowing down whatsoever, and I have no interest in having a hormone panel ran on me as well because I don't really need to know the number. So psychologically, I believe it's super high. And if a doc were to tell me that the numbers were fairly low, I don't really need to hear that. So that's just my belief. So men over 50, as you're getting into your late 40s, your 50s and above, hormone replacement therapy, is it necessary? Well, let's get all the way back to the beginning of what I just discussed, quality of life. Is your quality of life really, really good? Is it the way you want it to be Physi physically, psychologically? How much of it is just in your head? How much of it is physiological? Okay, that no matter what you've done, getting good sleep, quality sleep, sex drive wise, you know, no matter what you've done with, you know, your partner, uh, is everything great? If everything is great, then great. Why mess with it? On the other hand, if it's not, and you believe that your partner is turning you on, well, there's a question you may want to address with the doctor. Uh, all other aspects of having reasonable testosterone levels. Are you generally healthy with good energy levels? If so, why question it? That's my point. So, if you're over 50, and, and the other thing too, your physique, if you're training in the gym and you're doing a good job, training intensely, watching your diet, let's just be real now. A lot of men are using that TRT as a way of maximizing their lean muscle mass and reducing their body fat levels to unnatural levels, let's say, okay? And I say unnatural meaning they don't want to follow a tight diet, okay? 
And on top of it all, let's really, really be real about it. Uh, there's some men out there who are running around on their TRT and they're acting like 18 year olds. They've risen their testosterone levels up into those eight and 900 levels, you know, that of a teenager. But meanwhile, they find themselves at 55 doing so, which I call that unnatural and acting as such. If there's anything that's a fact, it's that if you took a 55 year old man, 60 year old man and raised his testosterone levels up into those super high levels of that of an 18 year old, well, they tend to have tendencies, uh, both aggression wise, sexual wise, uh, personality wise of what they had when they were 18. So if that's your goal, then great, do that. However, be aware that there are a lot of men out there who are doing such things and it comes from a very insecure place. They're out to prove that they still got it physically. They still got it when really all they need to do is get on their diet properly, lift weights properly, do the right things that they should be a little bit more strict with that diet. I'm not saying that's going to raise up your testosterone levels. I am saying it'll help to improve your self esteem being on a good diet, being lean instead of being fat, you know, staying lean, keeping that waist nice and tight, as opposed to letting it rise up and get fat, just to have an extra half an inch on your bicep. That's stupid. That's stupid in my opinion. So now I'm getting all aggressive. See that? I have that testosterone cooking right now. <laughs> so the reality that I'm trying to put on you right here is look, make decisions, smart decisions. All right. Are you coming from a smart place and a well-educated place? Are you making smart decisions with your physician as far as your hormone replacement therapy goes? Or is it coming, honestly, is it coming from a place of insecurity? Is it coming from a place where you're trying to prove something to other people? I'm not being insensitive to the guys that really need it. If you really need it, then by all means do it. It's probably really good for you. There's a lot of positives that physicians, have to say about it and research has said about it, then go for it. You should, you may need it. On the other hand, if you don't really need it, then avoid it. There's no need to do it. So that's my take on it. Oh, and if you really want to have that physique that you've always dreamed of, maybe seek out other ways of training and other ways of eating, maybe hire a professional out there, a trainer, something you've never considered doing that might help you to have that physique that you want rather than thinking that it's all hormonal. That's something you don't need to just fall into that belief system. Yeah. I'm questioning what is your belief system? So just some things to think about. So that's it for today from my heart to you, John Hart. 